what up today i'm breaking down max novak's new video that he just uploaded um he did the editing for and it was it was pretty good i used to i usually just low-key copy max novak but now, now i think he's big enough for me to you know blatantly just you know do editing breakdowns for him so i imagine he's gonna do an editing breakdown for himself but this is my interpretation of it if you're new to this channel i pretty much um, I teach music video tutorials and effects, but uh, only in Sony Vegas. Max Novak does Premiere and After Effects. Um, but either way, it's pretty much the same effects in Sony Vegas After Effects and Premiere. Um, also, I'm only, I'm about 80 to 90% sure of the effects he used. Um, but either way, the effects will be on your screen and how to use them. And I'll explain them how, to, how he did it and stuff. Um, Alright, this is the effect right here that everyone wants to know about. So pretty much... What he did was he he masked out. Okay, so he moved. He he okay. He moved. He saved this as a frame. He saved the frame right. And continued the frame through the video. So this frame doesn't move. Masked this butterfly out. Put sapphire glow on it. And or sapphire glow and maybe even sapphire flicker on it. What he either made the flicker by hand or put the sapphire flicker on it he scaled it up his mask and then there's also a rgb on here but i'm pretty sure it's from the distort rgb that he does right here so this then this he put it distorts rgb and then brings it up all the way out and then pretty much what he's doing now is he's um he made it into his uh animation what he did so what he did was he put the butterfly into photoshop cut both the wings off and then move the wings and like move the wings in ways so it looked like it was flying and he did he did about five different uh, frames of that so and then he went into after effects put those frames together and then it looked like and then he animated it to look like it was flying and then pretty much what he did was he transitioned with the distort rgb transition and then put that effect or put that animation now into and then just moved it over here. I'm actually editing the tutorial right now and I actually noticed something. That's not even how he did it. He did it the way I said it in the first part, but he actually just uh, did Sapphire Distort and distorted it and then changed the butterfly. So it was already a pre-made animation. He didn't make the animation at all. You can see at the end of the clip, the butterfly changes from a tiger to like a yellow and, pur a yellow and purple one. Um, yeah, and it's pretty cool. Like, I didn't even notice it until now. But um, if you follow the way I f did it the first time, then it, it'll still work. But I'm just letting you know that's how he did it. And then right here, he just subtracted he subtracted his mask. And then he had his other clip, his next clip, behind this layer. And then all he did was zoom in into, you know, the jacket, if that makes sense. So breaking down this first transition and clip right here, uh, first thing he did was went to the second clip right here, masked out the first frame of him, and then went back about, I don't know, let's count, one, or one two, three, four, five, five frames back, um, masked him out, either put sapphire glow or sapphire glow edges, I only say edges because right here you can see kind of an RGB effect and that's what edges, that's what that effect does, um, if not then try glow rainbow glow rings but he did one of the glows of sapphire he put that on he masked them out right and then he scaled them up to original position now these clocks right here they are they're 3d made clocks so he made them in element 3d um if you have vegas uh tough luck just find a green screen on online but he Master, or he made these clocks so you, you can see the rotation on them. He rotated them sometimes. I think this one, I think he rotated this one, and he motion tracked them so they can stand where they are when the camera pans out. He this also looks like an overlay of fire. Um, I might be wrong, but the only reason I say that is because of this. And if you know what that is, then yeah, this part right, this transition right here. Uh, here, let me play for you. So this transition right here is pretty cool. I um, never thought about using that, even, and I use this effect a lot in my videos. Um, so basically what it is, is displacement map. Uh, you can find that in your After Effects effects in Sony Vegas. You just make a new layer and composite to displacement map. So he, what he does, he put displacement map on this first clip, 
not the clocks though and he maxed out the vertical i don't know if he maxed it out but he bumped up the vertical went to the second clip bumped up the vertical too and then just keyframed it back down to the original um he also did a mask on the first frame of this before he obviously put the displacement map on him um put it on here for about like five frames and then it looks like he did the did the displacement map on him as well and then put glow edges again and then and and then it looks for this kind of flickering thing all he did was keyframe the glow brightness up and down um so it kind of gives a flickering effect even though he does use the flickering effect, effect later like right there that's the flicker i hope unless it's he did it by hand but that'd be too much all right for this transition right here and pretty much all the other ones like it he pretty much did the first thing he cut the or he masked out the first frame of the second clip and then put sapphire flicker on it and then that was it for this effect right here this transition he kind of did the same thing i was talking about earlier except he masked out uh the first frame of the transition of the second clip again uh put a huge feather on it put a huge feather on it um and then did kind of like this pops out and he had three of them wow that's crazy and uh, he had three of them and then just kind of animated the position and moved it towards right you can use that with position and after effects and pan and crop in vegas he also i'm pretty sure he and or he um did the line drawing effect in the second clip before he did this um i mean that'd be the easiest right and then right here he did a displacement map again vertically and it looks like he did the, did it to these as well. And then he did, he goes to the second clip, a big vertical displacement map, and then animates it back. And then this is all the line drawing effect that you know we have tutorials on. Okay, so this effect right here is pretty much um, he masked one layer, or he masked one frame of him, and it looked like it was this frame right here at the end where they all connect. He masked that out, and it looks like he had them all pop out at the same place and then animated them and then had the had one after another on top of each other and then moved in towards him into position and then right here is a displacement map again he did a displacement map and so he did a displacement map but he's been doing vertical now he did horizontal and then he used the scale to zoom in to the little displacement clone thing and then he animated it back into it, and when he went back into it, he put glow on the clip and brought the brightness a lot, and then put glow on this clip and brought the brightness a lot. Another thing to note here is he, I'm pretty sure he masked this part out right here, because if he didn't, then the displacement map would affect these trees, and if you look when he zooms in, the trees look still normal. So I'm pretty sure he masked out that part and then did a displacement map and then zoomed it in. I do this effect a lot right here too. This is um, Sapphire RG or, or Sapphire Sapphire Distort RGB or Sapphire Distort Chroma. Um, but it looks like he didn't put it on. He might have. No. So he didn't put on the whole clip. He added it to the. Um, he added it to the clip and then. In After Effects, you can change it to where it adds, and you put luminance, so it only added to the brightest parts of the clip. Um, in Sony Vegas, if you want to do that, you're going to have to chroma key out the brightest parts of the clip, and then just put that, copy that on top of the original clip, and then put this on the original clip. He then, okay, he did it again here, too. Uh, for this clip right here, what he did was he... 3D, he went to Element 3D and rendered this, um, rendered this castle, what it looks like. He masked this out right here, and then he positioned the castle up into moving it, and then he also added, he went to the first frame of the next clip, masked him out, added him in the window. Oh, this is masked out too, I didn't even notice that. Crazy. Um, yeah, that's cool. Oh, wait, does that look like that originally, or does he... Wait, now I'm confused. Anyways, all right. So the castle masked that masked him out, put him in the window, right? Put him in the window, um, keyframed him, 
and then he scaled it up to position and then he when he went to the window he put a glass breaking overlay with the sound and everything for these butterfly effects i think i think this is a green screen animation i'm not too sure though he could have made it himself and it looks like he uh put that sapphire glow on it just regular glow and then keyframe the brightness up and down um so it looked like a flicker and then did the same thing right here and then he did the sapphire distort chroma or distort rgb and then just made it into a transition this effect right here these don't look very these don't look 3d they can all be actually wait that's the shirt he's wearing but they look like he um he either got the image from google and then animated it and then pretty much he masked him out he they, okay he animated this right so they're fine next thing is or i don't know what he did in order but he masked him out right and then he put his infamous wings behind him and then at the at, at the back so the mask was over the other layer at the back he desaturated it a lot and then he also you know did a color or did a drawing animation on him as well the clip and he had his 3d rendered castle behind him masked out with everything um and this is masked out he just had he encompassed all of it and then just did a kind of like a circle i think with a big huge feather then right here he did sapphire glow edges i hope and then or glow rainbow or sapphire glow something and then he took out all the vertical glow on it and then just made the horizontal huge so you get all these streaks right here and then that's a flicker and then he added sapphire flicker on the other cap uh i think these are green screens and then he motion tracked it and then that's how the camera flies behind him they can also be obj files and he made himself right here but here's what i want to focus on he did a black and white invert with a displacement map on him and then at the displacement map on the bottom he took out the invert and then did a sapphire glow or even yeah sapphire glow and then brightened it up and then brought it down thanks for watching this first ever breakdown i'm doing if you guys want more breakdowns just comment below and comment the video you want me to do i'll try my best to figure out all the effects they used and you know how to do them and whatnot uh leave a like and whatever leave a comment and subscribe i really want to get to 10,000 subscribers so bad so anything helps all right peace out later